seriously, like it, things always happen when you least expect it. Like that's just how the paranormal works. Well, did, you, did you hear that? That was down the, that was down the stairs. Are you coming up the stairs? Oh, hey. hello. Did you come up the stairs? Who is that? My name is Stephanie O'Reilly and I own the 1889 McIntyre Villa in Atchison, Kansas. I bought the house four years ago, January. The only reason I bought the house was because someone had mentioned there's a house for sale and it's haunted and it just happened to be the villa and I fell in love with it. So that's why I bought the house. The McIntyre Villa was built in 1889 for John McIntyre and his first wife, Alice. She passed away after one year Mr. McIntyre was a saddle and harness maker and he was in real estate. The house was built in one year for $14,000. There have been nine documented deaths. One was a suicide. I'm still digging up information on things that might have happened during the boarding house time frame. There was a boarding house here from 1925 to 1952. Unless something happened to so-and-so at 1301 Kansas Avenue, I don't know who lived here. I'm still finding information. So, so far, nine documented deaths, one was a suicide. What is like some of the first experiences you've had here at the McIntyre Villa? My very first experience actually was on the second floor and just hearing the footsteps. The footsteps, voices, um, there was a time I, I knew somebody was in this house. You could hear doors just slamming and I'm kind of wondering if whatever's here, they're probably just making themselves known. I've not experienced that since I bought the house. I mean, it was very, I mean, it was scary. I think what I find the most uncomfortable are conversations. You can hear conversations being had in a room and it really sounds like people are, are there. That to me is the most uncomfortable. When we were up here a little bit ago and you were showing us around in the house, you said something about the skeleton over there. In the corner? Yes. Watch it, you want to take us yeah. over and show us? When I give a tour of the villa and we end up in the attic, I do tell people, I mean, it's a huge attic. Most people are drawn to the other side. I think that's where the, that's where the tower is at. People are just drawn over there. Um, I tell people my personal experience, I think this is the most active side of the attic. I think that there's an angry gentleman in this back corner. You just hear things moving around over here. I'm moving around a lot. And when I tell people that this is the most active part of the attic, I tried to capture something. So I put my camera facing this back corner and nothing was happening. So I just turned my camera around and I said, fine, you're not on camera, now do something. The camera was facing the skeletons and he slowly turned his head and his eyeball popped out. And then it just kept turning his head and the other eyeball popped out and his hat fell off. And ended up just staring right at the camera. That might be one of the most uncomfortable things I've experienced here. I wasn't here. I left at like 1 30 in the afternoon, 3 50 in the afternoon. That's when that happened. When I have tours and there are little kids, I know that people have told me that they, they see things maybe more than we do, but it, quite a few times kids will look over in this corner and they're like, why is there a shadow man standing there? Or why is there an angry person right there? And I'm like, what? <laughs> and lots of times I put my recorder back there and I get screamed at, I get screamed at a lot in every room, every floor on this house. Some people think that 
a female owning a house by herself, that back then they just didn't do that. So I might get screamed at for that reason. Um, I do make changes, so maybe they just don't like the fact that I'm doing things without asking a, um, a guy permission if I can do it. And that possibly is the reason that my recorders always come back with being yelled at. You want to move down to the second floor? Yeah, let's go to yeah. the second floor. Sounds good. I might have to grab another battery though. We're gonna go too far, and so I'll let you know. Okay. Did you whistle? No, I heard it. It sounded like it was from up there. Yeah, I did hear a whistle. Yeah. There's lots of whistling people pick up here. Lots of, I mean, it sounds like a person whistling. So that's why I thought one of you just whistled. No, I heard it. it sounded like it was up there. Mm-hmm. I'll let you know. Okay. Did you whistle? No, I heard it. It sounded like it was from up there. Did you whistle? No, I heard it. it sounded like it was from up there. Okay. So what room is this that we're going into? Okay, so right now we're on the second floor of the McIntyre, and this is the kids' room or the creepy doll room. I'm not sure what room was used for what. I just kind of guess. So I made this the kids' room, but I do have a doll here that I got at an antique store in Arkansas. She's from the late 1800s. She is a marionette doll, and she does have human hair. I named her Esmeralda. 99% of the time I keep her locked up. There's a few times I do open her up. I'm not saying that something's attached to her. I do know that things happen in this room. Like we've captured a baby crying. We have, um, I actually had one evening here with some friends and I asked, are you happy we're in here? And the response we got was, no, I'm not stupid, dumb B word. And this evil laugh, none of us heard it. I do have security cameras all over. Um, that's the only reason we picked it up. Somebody asked me to check my camera and I did. There was a gentleman who took a picture. He was standing right here, took a picture down the hallway and captured a full body shadow person with glowing eyes standing outside the library door. This hallway to me is the most uncomfortable. I love investigating in the hallway. This room here, well, I'll tell you that out of the nine deaths, the suicide was on the second floor. Um, Charles Donovan, who was Mr. McIntyre's second wife's youngest son, he was in World War I never in battle. He went to France in 1918, came home in 1919. Um, the newspaper article said October 10th, 1922, he had a headache, took a headache pill, came upstairs to his room and shot himself in the right temple with a 22 caliber rifle and it lodged in the left side of his brain for two hours and then he died. I don't know which room was his. Some people think it's the library, which is down the hall and to the left. There's a bathroom in the library and there's a bathroom here. These two bathrooms used to be one room when the house was built. I kind of think it might have been when the two bathrooms were one room. I think this room here, honestly, is the most active in the house. Um, the bathroom, which is kind of crazy to think the bathroom is the most active. But I like to put my recorders in here before I start a tour and see if something ha speaks or yells just in that short amount of time. So we are talking out in the hallway and then we go up to the attic. See here. But something about this bathroom, I'm not saying it's Charles, I don't know if it's Charles. Um, it's just, I've only picture, I've, but obviously there's something moving or talking in the bathroom because we went down to the basement and it's voice activated so it's not picking us up though. Did that say what, Stephanie? What did that say? Did that just say, say yeah, Stephanie? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Hey, Stephanie. Really? <laughs> that was very clear. Hey, Stephanie. Okay. A lot of people have seen a child size shadow person lean their head out, and somebody actually did capture um, an image of well, the shadow. You can see it, somebody's face looking out from this way. The footsteps in the hallway are very loud. They're very distinct. You can't miss them. 
um, it's not one of those where you go, were those footsteps? If you hear them, it vibrates the whole floor and it's in threes and it's boom, 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 like heavy boots. We're on the main floor of the McIntyre Villa and out of the nine deaths, Miss Altus, or she was known to people around town as Goldie, she died in this rocking chair around the corner. She actually, the rocking chair was closest to the fireplace. She was facing um, the windows over here. She had her hand on a pistol. I'm assuming because, I'm, I'm assuming the house was haunted when she lived here by herself from 1952 to 1969. There, were, there was a, an elementary school across the street. The kids would break her windows. They would call her a witch and run away. They would ring her doorbells and run away. I think she was just protecting herself because things that happen on the inside of the house make you second guess yourself. I know that just by staying here by myself quite a bit. I have been told that the rocking chair has rocked on its own. I have not seen it, but um, I do hear sometimes like wood creaking and I just assume it's the floor, like somebody's walking, but somebody had mentioned they think it's when it makes a creaking noise if somebody were to sit in it. It makes like an old rocking chair creaking sound. So maybe that's what it is. But this room I call Goldie's room because Goldie died in this room. She was a piano teacher. So the first thing I brought in was a piano and I call this the piano room. I have heard the piano playing. It's just one key. It sounds like a doorbell, but the doorbells don't work. I don't know how she lived her by herself. Like I said, I've spent many nights by myself here and it's, it doesn't feel good. It's very uncomfortable. This room here, a lot of people have gotten sick in this room. Some people get headaches. This is a Charlie McCarthy doll from the 30s. Um, I put my recorder on him oh, probably a year ago. And I said, hi, Charlie, and walked away and came back and the recorder picked up, my name is Jack. I wanna say the end of last year, there were two gentlemen uh, filming here and they told me that they picked up that his name was Jack. So now I tell people, well, I think his name is Jack. And so, anyway, that's it. I think he's adorable. He looks like he has cataracts. But I will ask questions in that room and then come in here, or I'll put my recorder on him and then ask questions in the other room. Make sure the shoes. Oh my God. Oh, do you want to see the light? Oh, does it glow? Oh, they're starting to glow. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Yeah. Okay, I'll fix them. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks hard on my that is oh, awesome. Oh yeah, they're, they're really glowing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bustangos. Yeah, they're really glowing. You can see them on the camera. That is hilarious. Boom, baby! Yeah. You see anybody in the terminal field buy these damn shoes? Hell no. Look at this. Now you can see me walking in the dark. You want me to night vision? You got me. Oh, I can't see you. Hold on, you're blind. I'm down here. <laughs> Bustangos. Are you ready? You're scaring Stephanie. Stop it. I'm sorry, Stephanie. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, India, we are here in Kansas at the McIntyre Villa. Are you excited for tonight's investigation? I'm really excited because we've already had a few strange things happen. While we were eating just now, we heard what sounded like somebody walking around on the second floor. We were sitting at the dining room table on the first floor and then we were in the basement trying to figure out how to turn the lights off and we heard a really loud, how would you describe it, like a... It sounded like a chair or something being dragged yeah, definitely or slammed. Yeah, definitely a chair being dragged. Yeah. So I think this house could have a lot in store. It seems to be quite active already. Yeah, and we also heard a, uh, a cat uh, when we were doing a walkthrough with Stephanie through the house before our interview, which is really, really weird there's no animals in the house and a whistle we had a whistle yeah. oh yeah too. and a whistle too mm -hmm. so there's already been a bunch of audible things that we've already had. right and it's not to say that we couldn't rule them out um as you know they might be paranormal they might not be we're gonna have to be really careful about that and seeing you know if we do hear something is there somebody outside we're gonna always have to check we're gonna have to just take all those things into consideration yeah, let's just uh, walk through the house and uh, get a feel and see where we want to start our investigation. Okay, yeah, let's do All it. All right, let's go. And I think this is the room where we heard that, well, we were in the basement, but I think this is where it came from, where it sounded like the chair being dragged. Yeah, she did tell us that when you're in the basement, you can clearly hear like walking like footsteps and stuff uh, from up here, uh, or even talking, like conversations going on. This is the room that 
Goldie, as she was known, passed away in. So that chair right there. Maybe she was just grabbing a seat. People that come here have witnessed the rocking chair um, moving. If there's anybody here, my name is India, and this is Connor. And we've just come to talk with you tonight. I know that a lot of people come and do the same thing, but we're not here to force you to entertain us. We're not here to make you talk to us. If you don't want to, that's perfectly fine. We have come a long way to come visit you, and it would be really nice to be able to talk with you this evening. So if you are here, we've got some things we're gonna use, some pieces of equipment that are gonna help us communicate with you. Or if you don't want to use those, you can just make a noise, show yourself, move something, touch one of us, whatever it is, however you're most comfortable making yourself known. Can you make a noise if you're up here on the second floor with us? I don't know if you heard, but my name is Connor and this is India. We just come a long way to talk with ya. With ya. <laughs> Were you trying to make it rhyme with my name? Yeah. <laughs> India, ya. <yeah. laughs> hey, this is a... Uh, Whoa. What? Someone on the stairs. Some what? Uh, like a, one of the stairs just creaked. Really? Like somebody was on it. I'm just, I'm just, hold on, I'm recreating it. Cause I'm, I walked this way. I didn't know if it was me that caused it, but it's not. It's not, this is me. It was like a, a hard, like not just a creak, like you'll hear it on the audio. Whoa. What? Someone on the stairs. Hey, this is a... Uh... Whoa. What? Someone on the stairs. Some what? Are you on the stairs? Or are you up in the attic? Was that you we heard when we were down in the basement? Can you make another noise? Okay, let's go up, let's go up to the attic. Okay. Hello. Anybody here? Are you able to move the skeleton again? Because I saw that video and that would be awesome if you could recreate that. Can you move one of the skeleton's head towards me or move the an arm or a leg. It feels pretty dead up here. Like a pun? Yeah, like, oh, you're, I'm really zoomed in on your face. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh It was on the stairs, though. That noise I heard was on the stairs. Maybe it was coming down the stairs. Maybe. Uh, the maybe, stairs. It, maybe it came down to see us. Maybe. There is right here. Be careful, because there's a raised bit. Yeah, and no, I can see it. Yeah. But I will tell you that if I see the skeleton move his head towards me as I'm walking by, I'm, I'm out. I mean, it'd be cool to catch it, but damn, would it be scary. Where's the, do oh, right here. Okay, okay, trying not to fall. I don't want to be death number 10 here. Is this where she, they were hearing like kids or something in this room? No, she heard the baby in the other room. Oh, this is stuff. This is where she said something was crawling on the ceiling. Oh, it was just spiders. Lots of them, probably. So you do got some spider webs all over the place. So we were down here, and you made a noise on the floor above us, like that chair or dragging or something kind of a noise. It's 
pretty dead quiet down here. So we do hear something, we'll definitely hear it. Can you make another noise? Do you like us being here? So what do you think we should do right now, India? I kind of want to do an Estes method. Okay, Estes method. Let's do it. All right, so India right now is in the chair where a woman passed away uh, holding a, a handgun in her hand. And we're going to be doing the Estes method. So I'm going to be asking questions. India is going to be wearing noise-canceling headphones, listening to the spirit box. If she answers me, it makes it more compelling because she can't hear what I'm asking. I'm 40. You're 40? Who's, who's 40? Were you 40 when you passed away here? I'm standing here. Where, where are you standing? A noise can be in, heard in here like a piano key being struck. Who, who's, who is that? Isaac. Isaac. I'm waiting. Wh what are you waiting for? Where are you, Isaac? You can speak through. Here. Here? Yeah. Is this still Isaac I'm talking to or no? 40. Are you 40, Isaac? Isaac, did you die in the house? I died. Okay. Did you die inside the McAteer Villa? I just heard a noise all the way by the stairs. Yes. So you did die inside the McIntyre Villa. Is that you I just heard? Where are you in the McIntyre Villa? What floor? Come. Come where? Oh my God, another noise. That was really loud. Is that you? Hell yeah. I'm hearing noises over there by the stairs. Are you on the stairs? Two. Two what? Are you on the second floor? I keep getting this feeling that there's someone standing over here in the doorway. It's kind of giving me like a weird vibe. Okay, I'm going to stop this if you want to switch. I switched positions with India and had nothing relevant come through. We decided to do an EVP session in the second floor hallway where we captured a man during our interview say, Hey Stephanie. Hey Stephanie. After reviewing audio, we captured no EVPs. We then made our way to the attic where India heard the footsteps either come down or go up the stairs. I was in the middle of setting up our cameras when strange things began to happen. What's flashing down there? Huh? Is the cat wall going off? Yeah, it was, India. Are you recording? No, I'm not. Yeah. It's going off again. Okay, you need to put the record 
Hello? What is going on? Okay, I was trying to set up the tripod up here with India. See, I was setting up that tripod. I just saw a flashing and the cat ball downstairs is lighting up. Hello? Can you light that cat ball back up? That cat ball was just lighting up and I literally couldn't catch that in time on camera. You made me come down here fast. I missed it. Can you light that back up again? I cannot believe I missed catching this. I think you just have to mind your own business. They're not going to perform for the camera. Yeah, no. I'm not trying. I'm not asking you guys to perform. I just want to see you guys do something cool like that. Like that was really, really cool. Good job. All right, I'm going to go back up the stairs. God, I can't believe, I was like, what the hell is flashing down there? Okay. Oh, it's going off again. Is it? I don't see anything. You're pointing cat and mouse. I can't run fast enough. <laughs> I can't, I haven't seen it. India, it's lighting up in this, in this picture next to me. There's a picture in the middle of this hallway of the staircase i'm seeing it light up green and i'm running to the staircase and that's what i'm seeing that's what it's doing it just literally lit up again it's messing with you i know let's see if you can uh light this one up this red light right here at the stairs going down there to where you're at this one does something cooler than that this one makes sound that Isn't one is so typical like the balls never went off the entire time we were down there and then we come up here and they start going off. i know right it's freaking crazy i can't run fast enough to the stairs it goes off too fast i bet you can't light that up again i don't think i can see with ir it's light you, it knows you're watching it's not gonna do it yeah <laughs> seriously like it, things always happen when you least expect it like that's just how the paranormal works well, did you hear that that was down the, that was down the stairs. Like that's just how the paranormal works. Well, did you hear that? That was down the, that was down the stairs. That's just how the paranormal works. Well, did you hear that? That was down the, that was down the stairs. Are you coming up the stairs? Oh. Hey. Hello. Did you come up the stairs? Who is that? There's something about that staircase. I wonder if somebody passed away on the staircase. It's so weird because it's like the cat ball goes off and then we hear that noise that sounded like it was coming from the staircase and then that goes off. Yeah, like, like it was coming all the way up. Yeah. Somebody up the stairs with us? You like that, don't you? It's way cooler than that cat ball down there that you're lighting up, making me run for. This is way cooler. Are you cooler. messing with Connor? Are you up here with us now? I don't, I don't know. I don't know if you came up or you went downstairs. Sound like you came up the stairs to the attic. Were you the one that moved this skeleton head? You guys just... Oh, there it goes again. Oh, hey. Yeah, it's, are you demonstrating for me? You're doing a good job. You know how to work it. Keep going. That's exactly how you use it. Isn't it cool? This is definitely not me making the rampart go off. I don't see you lighting up that cat ball downstairs anymore. I don't think the camera can actually see, but with my naked eye, there's a picture right there and it's like got glass on it. And I can see like a um, green, like flashing, like blinking over there. And that's how I realized it was the cat ball down there next to the, the doll Oliver that's by the bathroom. You made yourself known there, so I really appreciate that. So we're gonna try to communicate with you now, okay? We're gonna do a thing called the Estes Method, and India is gonna be wearing headphones, and she's gonna listen to a device that we call a spirit box. I'm gonna ask some questions, and then you can answer them through the spirit box, and India will repeat them. All right, so India is right over there and we just had the REM pod going off. I'm facing the opposite direction. She's doing the SS method right now, and she's wearing noise-canceling headphones. I'm gonna ask questions. She won't be able to hear my questions. We're gonna see if 
um, something. Something is. Something is what? We're gonna see who set off the REM pod in the cap holes. Something is. REM pod. REM pod just went off. Something is what? Just caught the REM pod going off. I have. Did you come up the stairs? Who made the REM pod in the cat ball go off? Trust me. Trust you. If you're the one that's making the REM pod and stuff go off, we appreciate it. We haven't had much go on right now and visually being able Startled. to- Startled. Yeah, startle us. I'm dead. Maybe we can get to know your story though. Did you pass away here in the McIntyre Villa? There's a REM pod. The REM pod just went off. It just said the REM. Thank you. We appreciate that. Can you light the REM pod up again? Were you the one that moved the skeleton head? Here, let me see if you're lighting up the cap ball. How about that? Can you light up the cap ball again? Or the REM pod? I'm not hearing anything. Let's try the, the recorder. You want to try the voice recorder? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to stop doing the yeses method. Shh. Don't move. Hello? Somebody down here? Hey, can you light up the uh, cat ball down there? You were doing it a minute ago when we were up here. Those are cool toys, aren't they? Is that you? What? Is, it, is what me? Like a whistling sound? No, I'm saying, I'm not even, I'm zooming in on the camera, I'm not whistling. Those are cool toys, aren't they? Is that you? What? Is, it, is what me? Like a whistling sound? No, I'm saying, I'm not even, I'm zooming in on the camera, I'm not whistling. <gasps> it's lighting up. It's not the one by Oliver, it's something else. It's a different one. Is it the one on the table? I don't know, I don't know. Hello? Oh God, it's right here. Hey! Is it the one on the table? Yes. I don't know if she has a camera on that one. No, but I got it. Hey, I'm standing here, right here. You like this one better next to this, uh, this skull and these pictures? I thought you were lighting up this one right here. But I guess not. I guess you were lighting up this one the whole time. Now, this is right outside of the uh, kids room, India. See, there's no way that could have went off from us upstairs. Thank you for letting me see that. I literally saw it go off. All right. In my hand right here is a voice recorder. I'm holding it completely still, you're, I'm facing it towards the staircase. That's what I heard earlier. That was not me. I'm trying to get this to focus, it won't focus. Oh, there we go. Still, you're I'm facing the stairs, facing the REM pod, facing the direction of where the cat ball is lighting up. If you're downstairs, it's lighting up again. Right now, the cat ball is. Thank you for lighting up the cat ball as I mentioned it. Going down the stairs here. Okay, I'm gonna sit on the stairs. I've got a voice recorder in my hand. My name is Connor and this is India. We see you lighting up the cat ball down there on the second floor right in front of us. If you can light that up again, because I just talked about it and you did that for me. 
I would greatly appreciate that. Here, I'm going to stop the voice recorder. We're going to play this back to see if you said anything to us. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? Hey, thank you for lighting that up. I'm gonna hit record. All right, here we it's go. It's just like the fact that we've been on this floor for ages and nothing happens and then we go up to the attic and then it starts going off. <laughs> like, I know, right? It hasn't once went off no. the entire four hours. Mm -mm. There's something up there. All right, let's go up to the, the thing upstairs. It keeps. There's once it's upstairs, you know that. While we were taking a break, we heard, it sounded like walking upstairs and then a really loud noise. Like, I don't know, like somebody dropped something up there. It was loud. It startled both of us. So it seems to be that whatever's here really likes playing cat and mouse. So. If we go upstairs, it's probably gonna stop. And, you know, it'll probably be downstairs. We're in the basement, we heard something on the first floor, and then we're on the first floor, we hear something on the second floor. Yeah, right. When we were trying to start our cameras to record, we were hearing noises. I was trying to start my camera as fast as I could. I think it knows we're here, and it's just playing games. Because it knows that we're here to find it and doesn't want to be found. So, let's go upstairs. All right, so right now, Indy and I are gonna be sleeping here in the McAteer Villa. We just got ready for bed. We're gonna be sleeping down there at the end of the hallway where the dolls are at. We've got a camera facing here, facing down this hallway. We have another camera inside the bathroom facing the staircase and at this um, table where the cat ball was going off earlier when we were upstairs in the attic. It is 3.18 in the morning and we are going to bed now.
7.58 in the morning and I'm going to stop the video cameras from recording and I'm going to stop the voice recorder and everything. I heard a squealing that kind of woke me up in the bedroom just a little bit ago. I think it was like 7, wait no, it's 8 o'clock right now. I just literally woke up, okay. It was 7.58 or something when I heard a squealing, somewhere around there. I'm going to stop the voice recorders and the cameras real quick here. Alright, I'm going to stop. Okay, I just I just stopped the hallway camera, but I heard a squealing that woke me up, and India locked the uh, attic door. You didn't lock it, but you shut it, right? India shut the attic door, and the attic door is open right now. Hello? Somebody go up in the attic? See the REM pod's still working. Yeah, it's still working. Hello? I don't see anything up here. Since I actually did hear the door open to the attic, I'm going to plug this camera back in and turn that camera back on. And I'm didn't get enough sleep. So I'm actually going to go way back down. I'm going to set this room pod back on the stairs. <laughs> 